Sometimes you gotta herd cats even while you're driving. Traveling with pets isn't easy always. No, I, I did bad driving right there because I sped up and I slowed down because I'm dealing with cats. So sometimes you gotta deal with cats and your driving gets not so great. And if this was Ohio, there would be cops everywhere waiting to get impatient people. <laughs> so I'm gonna slow back down and I will talk to you later. All right, I'm cruising along. I don't know how far I've gone. I lost track. Uh, it's good to be over that bridge. Making a little bit of time up, but it's still gonna be 10 o'clock before I get there. My GoPro shaking a little bit, but uh, awesome, awesome, awesome trip. Maybe in a little bit, I'll do a ramble, but not feeling it right now. Enjoying just driving, listening to some music. So, yeah. Hey, look, put more go go juice in the car. A little bit cheaper, but still pretty high, but that's life. All right, YouTubers. It sounds a lot worse because I had to switch to the GoPro 7, no mic. Um, had a tough day today. I don't know what's up with my GoPro. I got a red light on it. I took the battery out. It won't reset. So we're doing this. I'll do a little time lapse. Uh, just stop for gas in Saginaw. Much cheaper, but they still get you for the premium. Gonna time lapse. The, the mount's not set up very well. It's been a tough day. Vinny's not overly excited. Um, I made up good time. I was going somewhere between one mile and maybe 20 over the speed limit. <laughs> a couple points. Somewhere between there. Could be two. Um, saw a deer standing right on the side of the road. And I am fortunate it didn't jump out. And everybody was using me as their rabbit. If you don't know what a rabbit is, ask me, I'll tell you. Most everybody knows what a rabbit is. And I gotta slow down now. So yeah, I'll give you a little time on this. Very little. So if you saw part two of this drive back from the Upper Peninsula to Ohio, that's where I got caught at the Mackinac Bridge for somewhere between four and a half and five hours. It was it was pretty bad. And that was because the bridge had iced up. It started thawing a little bit and big chunks of ice were falling off the bridge onto the road deck. And obviously that's not safe. So the bridge authority has to make sure that people can cross it safely. But besides that, the rest of the drive went pretty well. Okay, the rest of the drive went mostly well. I did something pretty stupid that I'm going to talk about later. But I just want to reiterate what a fantastic time I had up in the UP during winter. A lot of people would never want to do that, but it was just beautiful. I mean, I saw ice caves. I saw a lot of snow. I walked across a big portion of Lake Superior to some ice caves. I mean, walked across the lake on all the snow. The UP is pretty special. And I know everybody prefers the desert and the warmth, but I don't know. I always wanted to do this and I'm so glad that I did. Check out the older videos. Even went to a sled dog race. Well, YouTubers, I did something I've never done. I've driven this probably 20 times. 
I don't know how much I, I think I had left the GoPro running. I had the music playing, I was having a good time. I, I, again, I thought I could drive this in my sleep. Apparently not, I missed my turn. So I probably cost myself 20 minutes anyways. Well, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be, <laughs> well, I didn't leave the bridge till like four o'clock, so it's gonna be pretty late. Chugging, chugging, chugging along. lot better time in the car than the van. The van I usually drive about 65 and the speed limit in some places is much higher than that so I make better time in the car. Alright, welcome to Ohio. Welcome to Ohio. I'm making good time considering I sat at the bridge for over four hours. 99 miles to go. 99 miles to go. It's been a long, long day. Can't see much, can you? Now, this time, it's brighter for me than it is for the GoPro. When you get to hazy, sometimes it's the opposite. But again, sorry I got the GoPro silver on because the GoPro black is messing up. And I have no uh, microphone. Raining. It's been raining most of Ohio. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and do a closing that you might be able to hear. So as I edit this, I realize what people say oftentimes in my videos is very true. My voice sounds much more excited when I'm going up to the Upper Peninsula than when I'm coming back. And I think it's true on all my videos. Going to it on a trip is much better than coming back. Uh, it was kind of weird to take a car trip instead of a van trip, uh, but I had a great time and with winter up there being the way it is, it was a much better way to do it because I had a place to stay. You know, keeping cats warm when it's that cold all the time can be a little bit tricky, but still, there are a few places if you go to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan in a van that you can get by either with power or trying to boondock you know if you got a good heat source but when you have pets it's a lot different thing you know keeping them safe so I had a fantastic one of my best trips ever I mean it's no secret whatsoever how much I enjoy the UP now I've been up there in every season and all of them have amazing beauty so I as always say don't ever go to the UP it's too crowded stay away from there but actually check out the UP it's pretty awesome all right I hope I gave you enough time to say enough stuff the GoPro shows nothing but there's pretty city lights which I haven't seen in a long time <laughs> not many lights up in the UP but I had a great trip I hope you have a great and wonderful day